What's up, guys? Gonna do something a little different. Um, what we got? <clears throat> little manganese, manganese parkerizing solution from Brownells. Um, distilled water and a cheap ultrasonic cleaner off of Amazon. Um, you got to be able to get the solution up to 180 degrees and this thing will do just right there but from my experience with park 165 170 is where you want to be and we're we're almost there um this thing's been warming up for a minute i got my solution i had some uh steel wool in it to season it so get it out here in the shop and we're going to see if we can't um, parkerize our MP540 in an ultrasonic cleaner. So, we'll gonna finish get it cleaned up and get it ready. But we're gonna, we'll see what happens. All right, so what we got, let's get our um, caulking tube support for 10 millimeter 40, our uh, thread protector our bolt carrier. They've been blasted and then uh, cleaned really well with brake cleaner, cleaned off real well. So we're gonna, we're gonna throw them in here and kind of see what happens. Our solution is already, um, it's already been seasoned. So we're just gonna, all right, so we pull our pieces out. Um, I'll put some steel wool back in there to season a little more, starting to get some chunks floating, which is, I think from the past, I think is a, a sign of some good, good action going. Um, we're gonna leave that in there and then uh, let it get back up to temperature and then do our barreled receiver. But here's the, uh, the uh, shit, thread protector. It's got a nice, I, it looks thin, but it is parked. So there's that. Here's our bolt carrier. Nice even finish on it. Um, I need to take it in and wash it off, but it's definitely, it's definitely nice and parked. Should work out pretty well. Um, these three pieces we will wash off and then coat with oil. Um, because they're gonna just stay parked, no fancy stuff. On the receiver, we're gonna wash it off and wash it off and then we'll paint it. You can't oil after you park um, something you plan on painting, you can't oil it. So you park it and then you wash it off real good, let it stand and then you paint it. So if you put oil on the park, it, it won't, um, the paint won't stick. So. We're gonna, as you can see, the steel wool down there is a lot of, uh, a lot of fizzle going on. Let's see if this does this works. So we'll see. All right, we got our barrel receiver ready to go. Foam plugs in the barrel. It's raining outside, we're gonna, we'll see if she's gonna park it. Here we go. Oh, didn't all go in there. So we'll have to do something about that. Got a fizzing action going on. So we'll, uh, we're gonna leave it in here and then come back and see if it works. You can already see it starting to turn dark colored in there, so. Uh, see if it works out. So it's really starting to fizz now. I really think it's starting to take off. Um, so as soon as this stops fizzing, we're going to pull it out and take a look at it. All right, it's been in here a few minutes. Um, rain's died down a little bit. It's not, um, 
not quite as many bubbles. It's still bubbling, so it's still working. But let's uh, let's get a look see at it. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah. All right. So we got a we got a nice dark color. That's what we're after. Um, I bet it's hot. So let's uh, see what's going on here. Looks like it's not not hitting there. That's whatever. Um, doesn't look like it took to our bolt release parts and our rear sight base. Looks like it's not. That's wild. Look at that. It's not even. That's crazy. But it's got. It's definitely has a parkerizing on it. Um, Got it down inside, keeping it out of the barrel. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say we're going to put it back in there because it was still bubbling. Um, and I'm not really worried about like right here. Looks something odd going on there or this or that because we are going to paint this. I just like under the rail here, the receiver was bare. Um, you can, well, you can't probably in the video, but. It's gotten up in there. The point of parking before you paint, uh, a lot of people say you don't need to do it, but the point of doing it is so it gets, you know, corrosion protection up in all the little areas, like down off in there where paint ain't go isn't going to get, that kind of stuff. Up under the scope rail, um, you know, it was bare metal. So let's, uh, let's drop this back in here and let it, let it keep going. You wanna see how we're still getting bubbles and stuff? You wanna let it go till it stops. And we're, we're pretty much there a uh, little bit. But the point of this is we started out trying to see if we could park our eyes with an ultrasonic cleaner. Um, this one goes up to 80C, which is right there at what you need to do. Um, I think when I put it in here, it was 73. It's gone down a little bit because of the cold metal cools it out. But, um, you know, you, you don't want it to boil because then it boils your water off. This right here, when I saw this, it immediately hit me because I always had trouble, you know, keeping the right temperature to do this. Um, this lets you set your temperature. My guess is this is going to be a perfect little setup to do little parts. I mean, I did a whole MP5 receiver. But, you know, for little quickie builds and stuff like that, or like I've got some bolts here somewhere that I can't find new ones. So I cleaned them up in the tumbler. I'm probably going to put them in here. You know, I probably should have done that first. But, um... So it looks like it works. It's definitely working. I mean, that's a, other than the parts that didn't take parkerizing, which is no, like I said, it's no big deal because we are going to paint it. We're going to use Cerakote or um, probably use Norals. I mean, I like the Norals, but still, still going strong. Let me, uh, let me grab the other bits and see how they look. getting colder the longer longer I leave the lid off of it. I guess it loses a lot of heat. But nice, nice dark color. I haven't I don't wanna I haven't put oil on it yet. Cause I don't wanna cross mix here once I get once I get the receiver out of here and get this closed up. I'll put oil on these. But nice uh, good dark color on it. Same thing here, good dark color. So, um, if you're looking to home game some park, parkerizing, I'm gonna say this is a way to do it. Cause it definitely, um, you know, you, you can see where it didn't, didn't get there, which is where the lower part meets the upper part. So it didn't stick to whatever they used for that, which is whatever but it still definitely works. Um, 
she's pretty much done fizzling. So we're gonna, let me put these down over here and then we'll, we'll pull it out and take a look at it. for today um, I need to make sure to cover it up so my dog didn't come in here and lap her up but she's she didn't do the site base or the the, the um, those um, both those parts come from HK parts uh, the rest of it I think once she dries and we're gonna take her in there and wash her up I think it's gonna you know, turn out pretty nice. We got, let's pull this out and see if anything went in the bore. It sounded empty, ready? Nope, bore's dry, which is, if you don't know, MP5s don't have chrome bores. So, if you got a chrome bore, it does something pretty cool. Uh, other than that, I'll, uh, I'll wash it up. We'll put a picture on it and, man, she's, I think it's gonna paint up pretty nice. Um, Thanks for checking it out. Hope you learned something because I did. I, I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but it definitely uh, it definitely worked. So I'll uh, I'll wash it up and we'll put a little picture. Thanks for watching.